Hello, this is Mr. Bell, and today I'm going to read to you Sun, One in a Billion. All right, so here we go. There is a really close-up picture of the sun, and today I'm going to read you the story. You're not going to be able to see me, but you'll be able to hear me, and we're going to read this book, um, a digital copy, and so we're going to read it that way, and you'll see it right on my screen. So like I said, there's a really big picture of what the sun looks like kind of close up. Our universe, sun, one in a billion. Once upon a time, about 4.6 billion years ago, a magnificent and important star was born. And that magnificent and important star <coughs> excuse me, was me, your sun, with a capital S. Yes, I am a star. Dictionary definition, star, one, a massive and luminous ball of gas, full of energy, two, an outstandingly talented and popular performer. I fit both definitions. The Milky Way galaxy has over 100 billion stars. That makes me one in a billion. Oh, um, one in a hundred billion. I'm not the biggest, so what? Not the brightest, who cares? Not the oldest, whatever. But I am the most important, at least to you earthlings. Can you hang out for eight minutes? That's how long it takes my light to reach earth. Yep, I give you heat and light, you're welcome. It's so important that earthlings should name a day, a special day in my honor. We can call it Sunday Oh, wait. Sunday. I am famous for my heat and light, but I also hold our entire solar system together. Scientists call it gravity. What can I say? The planets are attracted to me. And because I'm the center of our solar system, life revolves around me. Literally. Look, they all go in the same direction. We can see our planets. Mercury. Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. There are other stars. Those other stars are far, far away from Earth, which makes me look teeny tiny, which makes them look teeny tiny and not so important. I am close, a near 93 million miles from Earth. To an Earthling, I look like this. But to Neptunians, I am 2,795 million miles away. And I look like this little tiny dot right there. If there were Neptunians, oh, I didn't mean to turn the page yet. If there were Neptunians, there, there's no known life on Neptune. Technically, I'm a yellow dwarf star, but I'm still a big, big deal. If I were the size of a basketball, Earth would be, a, be smaller than a grain of sand. And you could fit about one million Earths inside of me. Look at all those Earths inside the sun. Looks like it's about ready to explode. But you can't fill me with Earths because I am hot stuff. Let's compare. A hot summer day is about 90 degrees Fahrenheit. A pizza oven, 700 degrees Fahrenheit. The orange and yellow flames at a campfire, about 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Me? Well, I'm about 10,000 degrees on the surface. I can melt diamonds. And at my center, 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot. Ancient earthlings thought I circled the earth. Can you imagine me revolving around the earth? And some think that I sit in the sky all day and all night. But I got moves, baby. I'm spinning. And because I'm not solid, my middle moves faster than my top and bottom. So the middle moves about 25 Earth days to rotate, but the bottom is about 36 days to rotate. Don't try this at home, though. I'm not only important, I'm generous and good looking. Sun rises, sun sets, northern lights, southern lights. Sit back and enjoy the show. Sometimes I like to be mysterious and sneak away for a few minutes. Solar eclipse. 
but don't worry, I'm just behind the moon. While I'm astronomically bigger than the moon, 400 times wider, the moon is astronomically closer to the earth, 400 times closer. My neighbor stars have fancy names. Meet Proxa Centauria, Alpha Centauri A, and Alpha Centauri B. They look pretty cool. Me, I need just three letters. Give me an S. Give me a U. Give me an N. What's that spell? Sun. 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 He's our star. Light and heat from afar. Please note that a capital S. I am important. Not to hog the spotlight, but I've got it. I'm the same hot, bright star I've always been. A stable star is a good star. You don't want your sun getting hotter or cooling off. That would be really messy. So, grab your shades. I plan to be in biz for another 500 billion years. You and me, we've got a bright future together. And that was sun. I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope you like learning about the sun. And I encourage you to learn more things about the sun. And when you get a chance, go outside and enjoy some sunshine. But don't look directly at it. It can really hurt your eyes. Have a great day. And I hope you enjoyed the story.